Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. It's Adrian Hunter from over here at Pipe Dream Hookah, and it's time to do the first El Fokker series review of 2018. Now really quickly, just because I haven't done an El Fokker series review in the better part of like three weeks, I just want to remind any of my current subscribers that already know what's going on, kind of how I do things in this style of review, and more importantly, any new subscribers who don't already know how this works, I just kind of want to explain what we do here on the El Fokker series. So for these Alphacar series reviews, I try to keep them quick because what we're trying to do here with the Alphacar series is actually do every single Alphacar flavor. And for any of you seasoned smokers who smoke Alphacar regularly, you guys already know that they have a ton of flavors on the market. Some of them are hits, a lot of them are misses. Uh, we're gonna try to see which of the flavors are the best and which aren't really worth picking up. So with that in mind, what we like to do is do the flavor, the scent, and the cloud output of the tobacco, as well as any other noteworthy things worth mentioning. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I think of the tobacco on some type of a scale, maybe one to 10 is what I've been doing. I'm thinking about changing that soon, but I'm not quite sure. And these do come up once every other week and they come on Mondays. So this is gonna be the first Monday. So next Monday, you're not gonna have one, but the Monday after that, there will be one and it's gonna go like that all year long. Now, as far as the El Fokker series review for today goes, we're gonna be touching up on the citrus mint flavor. Now, as far as my setup goes, you can see that I have the Starbuzz Atlantis 1.0, the short version, made in America hookah. I've got this sweet custom hose that Derek Moses from over at THL made for me. It is awesome with my cool little like smoke hookah, pipe dream hookah custom hose handle. I don't know if you can read that or not. And then up top, I have an Egyptian bowl, a small one, with two titanium flats on it. Now I'm not gonna show you guys how I packed it in this review, and a lot of you already know this, but for those of you who don't, down in the description below, you can see the video for how I pack El Fokker into an Egyptian bowl. And in the event that I use a funnel bowl for an El Fokker series review, I also have a video to load El Fokker into a funnel bowl that I will be leaving in the descriptions of those videos as well. But with all of that out of the way, let's begin taking a look at this El Fokker citrus mint by uh, seeing what it smells like. Okay, so as far as the scent goes on this stuff, I don't know if you've maybe tried something like the El Fokker orange, but that's just gonna hit you first. This really nice bright orange flavor, kind of half artificial, half natural, if that makes any sense. You do get some of that nice hearty orange peel scent, as well as some of this really bright, almost uh, candied orange scent as well. There is gonna be some of that El Fokker mint scent in the background, for those of you who don't know. When they do their X with mint flavors, like citrus mint or gum mint or double apple mint, whatever it is, the mint that they put in it is gonna be this standard El Fokker mint. I did an El Fokker series review on the mint that was actually the last one I did. I'll leave a link to that in the description for those of you who are curious uh, as to what El Fokker's mint comes across as. But you get some of that El Fokker mint, a lot of this orange, and if you really get in there and take a real good whiff, you're going to notice some lemon in the background as well. I found that the orange is the more prominent scent, but there definitely is going to be lemon. And if you look at this really cool packaging here, you can see that there's actually an orange, a lemon, and a mint. So I think they did a pretty good job at representing uh, the fruits that are on the label in the scent of the tobacco. But it's time to move on to everybody's favorite thing and take a look at some of the clouds that stuff can produce. Nothing crazy to report on the cloud situation. This is pretty much the cloud content you can expect from any of the original line El Fokker flavors, packed into an Egyptian bowl, heated like I have it heated here with the two titanium flats. They're gonna be nice, large, full body clouds, but they're not gonna be the hugest clouds you've ever seen, like you'd see in something like Trifecta's Dark Line or something like Tangier's even. The Dark Lines I find to produce larger clouds than some of the Blonde Lines. Moving on to the most important thing when we're critically analyzing any shisha tobacco. Let's go ahead and move on to the flavor profile. And over here on Pipe Dream Hookah, we like to do it on both the inhale and the exhale because I do find that the flavor profiles on the inhale and exhale differ just a little bit. So let's go ahead and start with the inhale. All right, so as far as the flavor profile on the inhale goes, what you're really gonna get is this really nice sweet medley of the orange and the mint at the front end of the flavor. And you are gonna pick up a little bit of that lemon on the back end, and it comes across as a sweet candied lemon. It's not really tart. This is mostly gonna be in a sweet flavor. The orange does come across like it does in the scent as kind of a half natural, half artificial tasting orange. You get that kind of a natural orange peel flavor along with that really nice, sweet, juicy, candied orange flavor. And like I said, the lemon is going to be sweet as opposed to tart. And for those of you who follow me regularly, you know that I prefer uh, more tart, natural lemon flavors, but that's not really what you get with El uh citrus mint. I'm not sure about the lemon or lemon mint just yet. That's gonna be a review for the future, but that's kind of what you can expect to pick up on the front end of the flavor on the inhale. Let's go ahead and check the exhale out.
Okay, so the main change in the flavor profile from the inhale to exhale is gonna be flavor potency. A lot of that really strong orange flavor and that mint kick is gonna come down a little bit. And I do notice that some of that lemon comes out a little bit more. And it is gonna be that sweet lemon that I was talking about, but I can pick it up mostly when I exhale through my nose. So it kinda hits you in the nose as far as the lemon goes but you still get that good citrus mint flavor. It's just toned down quite a bit on the exhale as opposed to how it is on the inhale. Now, a few other notes about this flavor that I might want to touch on just so you guys know. Um, as far as how it takes heat, it's going to pretty much take heat like any of Alfacher's original line flavors. It's going to be a little bit heat temperamental. You don't want to overload it with heat. I did go ahead and add my wind cover because I wanted to pull a little bit more of the flavor out so I could accurately judge the flavor for you guys. But uh, maybe two titanium flasks wasn't quite enough heat. But even though the bowl isn't getting overheated at all, you do get a tiny bit of a throat kick, and that's going to be the orange and lemon. Citrus flavors tend to have a bit of a throat kick. For those of you who tend to smoke citrus flavors, you're probably well versed in that fact. But that's just something that you can expect from a lot of these citrus flavors, especially from the Alfacher line of uh, tobacco, especially in the original line. So that's something you need to keep in mind, but it isn't really overbearing. It's just a little bit of a tickle at the back of your throat. And as far as longevity goes, this is a really small bowl, so I'm only gonna get one round of coals, maybe 45 minutes to a 50 minute session. But if you're using a large Egyptian bowl or something like a funnel bowl, you can easily expect two rounds of flats. And you can expect it to clock in anywhere between an hour and 15 minutes and an hour and a half. With all that said, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this tobacco for you on the 10 scale. And I mentioned this briefly, I believe, in my last El Fokker series, but I'm going to be rating it in kind of a weird way. I'm gonna avoid the 6.5 the 7 and the 7.5 ratings because they feel like kind of a cop-out. I find that whenever I'm not really sure how to place a tobacco, I kind of place it in that range and it's pretty vague. It, it just feels like a cop-out rating and it doesn't really allow me to do a good job of letting you guys know whether to pick this flavor up, yeah, it's great, or to probably pass on this flavor. All that said, take into account the scent, the flavor, and the cloud output of this tobacco, as well as a little bit of a throat kick and the heat resistance, you know, everything that goes in to how this tobacco performs. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this tobacco, the Alfacher Citrus Mint, a solid rating of 8.5 out of 10. Now, just really quickly, I'm gonna explain why I give it the rating of 8.5. Um, now, as far as this flavor goes in terms of performance, it's gonna perform just about as well as anything else from the Alfacher original line of tobacco. It's gonna smoke really well. It's got good flavor potency. It's not overbearing. It's not gonna be super strong, but it's not gonna be weak or anything like that. It's got decent cloud output. It smells really, really good. And you can expect a session that's gonna go anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on the size of your bowl and the coals and everything. And me, I'm a pretty big fan of lemon flavors. And you do get a decent lemon flavor in there. I also just like citrus flavors in general. So I might be pushing that flavor a little bit with the rating of 8.5. If if you aren't into citrus flavors or anything like that, you could probably drop it down quite a bit lower, maybe even somewhere down towards a six, because this definitely comes across as a pretty strong citrus flavor. But if you love citrus flavors, I think you're gonna be with me in rating it in that 8.5 range. It's a really good El Fokker flavor. That's just gonna about cover it. I'm sorry if this video seems rushed. Right after this, I'm about to sit down at my computer that's behind the camera and record uh, episode two of season one of the AM Hookah podcast. So I gotta get prepared to do that. So I'm gonna cut this video and start editing this so I can get it dropped tonight on Monday night so it's not late or anything like that. But with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, Happy smoking.